Are you looking to find a sustainable project that hasn't launched yet? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new project launching on the AVAX blockchain. We're going to tell you all you need to know. It's launching potentially at the end of March. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day and are doing well. In this video, we are taking a look at a brand new node project that is going to be launching on the Avalanche network. Again, it is going to, it's not out just yet. So don't ask me how to go and buy this yet because you're not going to be able to find it. Now, if you're asking yourself, when is this going to be launching? The only thing I know is that they're gonna be launching towards the end of March. So in my opinion in the weeks to come we are going to get a lot more information but in the meantime if we take a look at their twitter as i said it is a brand new project it's called zero x block finance and we can see they only have about 390 followers so if you guys want to stay up to date with this project definitely give them a follow and you'll be able to find out what's happening next with this project so if we move on to their official website, it is at 0xblock.finance. And of course, as I said, it's not launched just yet. So if you click the launch app, it's not going to work. Don't freak out. The project isn't even out yet. I'm just telling you guys about this so you guys have an understanding of what this project is. So don't freak out if this button does not work. But if we scroll down onto their website and understand how it's going to work when it does become available, essentially, it's going to be perfect purchasing 0xb tokens because this is on the avalanche network you're gonna have to go on to trader drill and then of course swap some avalanche to this 0xb token and once you have enough 0xb token depending on the node you want to purchase you're going to be able to mint what they called a 0x block and have a reward contract now, this is the same principle as other node contracts. You're buying the underlying token to then have a certain amount to mint a node. And in this case, the node is called a reward contract, the 0XRC. It's the same thing. Think of that as your node. So once you've purchased your tokens and then you want to decide which node you want to purchase, they have three tiers. They have the square, the cube, or the tesseract. And if we go on to the third step, well, of course, depending on which one you choose, you're going to be getting different rewards based on the ones you choose. Now, if you're wondering, well, how much is it going to cost me? How much am I going to gain? Well, here is the different tiers in nodes. So your basic node is going to be the square, which is going to require five zero XB token. Then you have the cube, which is 15 tokens. And then you have the Tesseract, which is 30 tokens. Now, if you're wondering how much is this token worth? Well, I am as lost as you guys right now. The only thing I know is that they plan on having it below $5. So if we just assume a price of $5, this would mean that you would have a price of about $25 to buy the square, a price of about $75 to buy the cube, and then of course, a price of around $150 to buy the Tesseract. So if that is the case and they do decide to go with a $5 token, a $5 zero XP token, that would be very affordable in my opinion, because we've seen other node projects where you have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars just to create one node. And here we can see that if it is a $5 token, it could be very affordable and could attract a lot of people. Now, if we move on to their FAQ, of course, the initial investment isn't that big, but you obviously want to know how long it's going to take you to get your money back. And here, if we go on to the FAQ, we go on to the rewards and funds. Here is the breakdown of these rewards. So your square contract reward, which is again, the smallest one is going to get you 0.030 XB per day. So that is going to take you 146 days to make your money back. Now it sounds absolutely ridiculous, but think of it because you're only putting about $25, again, assuming the price of the token is going to be around $5, it is going to take you approximately five months to get your money back. 
If we talk about the cube contract, here we see it's actually 0.16 tokens per day, which the ROI is 92 days. And then the biggest contract, the Tesseract, is going to reward you with 0.41 tokens per day. And here we see the ROI is only 73 days, which is roughly about two months. So obviously, as you go up and you buy the higher node, your ROI is going to be much smaller. And of course, that makes sense because you have a higher risk when you do initially invest. So if we move on with the FAQ, it says, will 0x block provide me with lifelong rewards? Because obviously, as we know, when you're investing in node projects, you want this to last as long as possible to continue getting passive income every single day. So here their answer is yes and no. So that's very interesting. They are being transparent by saying yes and no. And then they say for optimal protocol growth and longevity, we implement a decay model that will see contract rewards gradually decrease every three months. So here we see that an example, if you were to take the square contract, which is again, the smallest contract or node that you can buy, your first one to three months is exactly like we just saw, it is going to be 0.03 rewards per day. Then if you go on to the fourth month, it's actually going to decrease by 15%. So then you're going to only be getting 0.028. And then three months after that, you're again going to be another decrease of 15%, then so on and so forth. So that is basically how they plan on being sustainable. From the get-go, they are telling us that they will be decreasing the rewards every three months at a rate of 15%. And that is their model to remain sustainable and to continue paying out these rewards. Now, if we move on to their white paper and understand a bit more details about this project, about how they plan on being sustainable, what other utility is this token going to have? If we first off go to the solutions, here we see that they want to be as transparent as possible. So here it says that the team is going to welcome and answer all of the questions that are asked to them via their social channels. So obviously, probably Discord and Twitter, because they believe that 100% transparency is the key to success. Then they also talk about security, meaning that their wallets are going to be a multi-signature security, meaning that they need more than one signature to make changes to these wallets, which is obviously good. And then they say before launch, it's smart contracts and DApp code will be audited by a verified third party. And of course, we are going to have to wait to see what this audit comes out with. Now, if we move on with our white paper and talk about utility for this token, because of course, it's nice to have a node project that has utility for it to be sustainable. So here they say they talk about NFTs. They say in the months to come, they are going to be launching a range of NFTs. And obviously, these NFTs are probably going to have utility. They don't mention what exactly. It's They do say it's going to unlock additional utility as the 0x block platform grows. So so in my opinion, it may very well be to reduce claiming fees or in the same range here. But if we talk about other developments, they also want to have a multi-chain DEX, which is a decentralized exchange and also have a launch pad and wallet. Then if you're wondering why would they want to build a decentralized exchange? Well, it's basically to generate fees within that decentralized exchange, because as we know, if we take a look at Trader Joe, at PancakeSwap, they are all charging a very small fee. But if you think of the volume that's coming into those fees, well, of course, they are making tons of money every single day. So they plan on profiting on this decentralized exchange from the fees that would be used in everyday trading then if we go on to their launch pad they plan on having a launch pad with function as a supportive platform for new ventures in a protocol specialized field of crypto and DeFi. so of course if you are looking to have your own coin you could use their launch pad there are many other launch pads out there as well and their last utility that's known so far is that they plan on having a wallet now this is obviously cool because if you hold your 0x block and your node in your wallet you're going to have access to all of your rewards there you could obviously hold it on metamask as well but you can see that they do have a very big plan for the future with a decentralized exchange a wallet and a launchpad nfts as well so of course it's all speculation for now they do say that they plan on doing this until it's done we're just gonna have to wait and see 
Now, if we go ahead and we talk about the launch and the distribution of each wallet, basically they are going to be minting 1 million tokens and the initial circulation of the zero XP token will consist of 20,000 tokens. And if we take a look at the distribution of these tokens, they say 70% of the minted tokens are going to be in the reward wallet, then 10% are going to be in the liquidity wallet, 10% for development and marketing, and another 10% percent for the co-founder wallet so essentially the team owns about 20 percent of the supply when it mints and if we continue on here this is just your summary of how the distribution is proposed and now if we talk about whether or not you decide to mint one of these nodes here is the distribution 10 percent of that is going to be for the marketing team then you have 20 percent which is going to be in the liquidity pool as we know it's with avax then there's going to be a 20 percent deposited in the treasury as usdc and then finally there's going to be a 50 percent that is transferred to the rewards wallet all in zero xb token so the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is a sneak peek of their decentralized app. As we know, it's not launched yet. This is from the Discord. It's a picture of what they shared with us. So as you can see, you would have your dashboard where you'd have your metrics and see the price of the zero XB token and so on and so forth. Then you have the mint contracts where you would go and essentially buy your node if you are looking to buy one. And then you have your square, your cube and your Tesseract contract, all of the information along with it and here you see the rewards and how they decrease over time in months and of course they let you know the minted contract tokens distribution which we just went over and also that there is a 10% claim tax as of now then you'd obviously have your contracts which is also your nodes and the treasury that you'd be able to look at I guess in real time or potentially have a say in what the team invests in so that is your sneak peek on this new project zero x block finance is this going to be the next big node project i have absolutely no idea is it going to be sustainable i have no idea you could flip a coin and hopefully be right so we're just gonna have to wait and see i just wanted to bring it to your attention because it's not out yet i know a lot of people are looking for new projects especially node projects so if you are interested in this one you could always just follow them on twitter or discord see what their plan is and then make your own decision on whether or not you want to invest so with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.